Some health news now. Chinese drywall has really been an ongoing battle for years now. Today, a meeting was held for victims here in South Florida, and local 10 News reporter Samantha Bryant joins us live on FIU's campus with reaction. Samantha. Well, the lawyer that we spoke to says that Taishan is a Chinese company that has avoided legal disputes with American families contaminated, that has contaminated Chinese drywall. And we spoke to five of those families, of which he says there's 1,500 families only in South Florida. This whole time we thought it was just allergies. Little did we know that the entire three years that we spent there, we were exposing our son to this really, really toxic elements. David and Karina Gonzalez are one of five families who have been financially and emotionally drained after finding Chinese drywall in their homes. I know that financially it devastated us. That means taking out the drywall, the electric, the insulation, the plumbing, the cabinets, all of our furniture, all of our clothing, all of our belongings so that it would look like this. The battle began in 06 and stretched to 2009. The defective drywall has gotten their family sick, forcing them out. Some of them have lost their homes in the process from Homestead to Boca Raton. With the sulfur gas that came out, came out of it, affected their health, their children, their grandmothers, and others had to move out of the homes. But they didn't want to default on their homes or default on their mortgage. So they tried to keep their Chinese drywall homes and fix them, but they couldn't afford both. So many of them have lost their homes. Their lawyer, Patrick Montoya, says that these are just a few of 1,700 families still affected in South Florida. Congressman Mario diaz Ballard and Congresswoman Frederica Wilson met with the victims today. The goal is to make sure that those that have been victimized by Chinese drywall, who the courts have said deserve compensation, are not forgotten and they're compensated as the U.S. courts have said they must be making a commitment and bipartisan call to hold Chinese drywall manufacturers who have avoided American lawsuits responsible. We feel that the Chinese company can do the same thing. So that is our purpose today, to fight for our constituents. The U.S. federal courts have found the, comp the Chinese company Taishan liable. They've been running in and out of the jurisdiction, in and out of the litigation. They simply don't want to pay. And we spoke to Congresswoman Frederica Wilson as well as Congressman Ballard, and they say that they are both looking to see if there's any legislation active that can offer that they can offer to the victims as they continue to represent them in this legal dispute. Reporting in Southwest Miami-Dade, Samantha Bryant, Local 10 News.